good morning to all of you today we will discuss the question answers of lesson number 6 so open your books page number 79 we did oral comprehension work yesterday today thinking about the text we have to start from here so your first question is why do you think vanda's family moved to a different city do you think life there was going to be different for their family the question is in two parts be careful while giving the answers many of the times students read the question and they don't read the question till end so they attempt one part only so be particular while doing it the question is in two parts first part why do you think wanda's family moved to different city i have already explained you that wanda's family moved to different city due to the teasing behavior of wanda's classmates this is clear that her classmates used to mock and tease her so she must have told her father also they teased her because of her lengthy name and her blue faded dress so she had no friends in the school second do you think life there was going to be different for the family yes as it is clear by wanda's father has written a letter to miss messen it is clear from that letter that the life in the different and big city was going to be different for their family why because there would be many people having lengthy and uncommon names so nobody would tease them tease wanda or her brother there then question number 2 maddy thought her silence was as bad as peggy's teasing was she right we did in the lesson that maddy thinks that i also have committed a mistake if peggy was bad i was worse was she right in thinking so yes maddy was right why although she did not uh, liked peggy's teasing wanda about hundred dresses about her name but she had never asked peggy to stop all this she never asked because she feared that she may not lose the friend like peggy then that's the reason no one stopped peggy and she continued making fun of wanda it is often said it is often said what turning a blind eye to a crime is worse than committing a crime so we can say maddy was right in thinking that her silence was as bad as peggy's teasing then we come to question number 3 peggy says i never thought she had the sense to know we were making fun of her anyway i thought she was too dumb and ye look how she can draw what led peggy to draw that wanda was dumb did she change her opinion later so after having a look on the skill of drawing peggy what says that i always thought that wanda was dumb and second question is asked to us did she change her opinion later so as far as first part is concerned 
we can say she thought so because Wanda never reacted to Peggy's pranks, Peggy's mocking, Peggy's teasing behavior. She always, Peggy changed her opinion. When she changed, after having a look on Wanda's drawing skill, moreover you can add, after receiving her father's letter, then you can add, after receiving her own letter, and what she wrote, what she wrote in the letter, that the dresses must be given to Peggy and Maddy. The rest of the dresses can be kept by the other students. So, we can say that her gesture of gifting beautiful drawings from her collection changed her opinion. Then, question number four, what important decision did Maddie make? Why did she have to think hard to do? So, part one, important decision which she took, Maddie resolved, Maddie decided not to remain silent when someone was being mocked at. She would speak even if she had to lose a friend like Peggy in doing so. So she decided not to remain silent in future if she sees anyone mocked at by others. Part second, why did she have to think hard to do so? She had to think hard to make this decision because Earlier, she lacked courage. She remained mute spectator. She never stopped Peggy. She remained mute spectator in case of Wanda. She feared losing Peggy. Due to all these reasons, she had to think hard over it. Why do you think Wanda gave Maddie and Peggy the drawings of the dresses, why are they surprised? Part one, why Wanda gave the dresses? Maddy and Peggy wrote a letter to Wanda. She might have understood their feelings. Actually, they wanted to feel sorry, but they wrote a friendly letter. Maybe on receiving the letter, Wanda understand their feelings. This is the one reason you can give. Second, you can write, she wanted them to know that she had observed them during the dresses game. During the dresses game here means when they used to tease her. She had made these rhymes when she was with them. She has observed them properly and she had made the dresses for them. Her drawings were a message of love for them. So we can say she gave them the dresses to teach them a lesson of life, the lesson of love. Part second, why are they surprised? They here stand for Peggy and Maddie. Peggy and Maddie were surprised to see their own faces in drawings gifted to them by Wanda. They were also surprised to think about her humble, generous, loving, and friendly nature. Question number six, do you think Wanda really thought the girls were teasing her? Why are, why not? What do you think? Wanda was aware of Wanda knew this thing very well. She was aware of the misbehavior of girls who teased her every day, every now and then, but she remained silent. Her father's letter also shows that she knew the girls teased her. She must have told her parents. That is why 
they decided to move to a big city. She had no friends there. She never gave any answer to anyone. Her no reaction to remarks gave Peggy the impression that she was dumb. Actually, she knew the girls were teasing her. So these were the six questions I have given you the answers. Now we turn to thinking about the language. Question number one, here are 30 adjectives describing human qualities. Discuss them with your partner and put them in two word webs given below. Two webs are given. Have a look below. In one it is written positive, in another it is written negative. According to whether you think they show positive or negative qualities, you can consult a dictionary if you are not sure of the meaning of some of the words. You may also add to the list the positive or negative pair of a given word. So students, this is a sort of activity I am allotting you to do what you have to do today. You have to give exercise to your brain. And you have to meet your best friend today. I may tell you the name of your best friend. That is the dictionary. You have to consult the dictionary if you don't know the meaning of these words. Some are very easy. Some are a bit difficult for those words. You may consult the dictionary. Then think what are the positive qualities and what are the negative. You have to make separate list for that. Here in the first line he has written, here are 30 adjectives. Right from the lower classes you are doing what are the adjectives. Even then, I am telling you again, what is an adjective? An adjective is a word used to qualify or to add something to the meaning of a noun. For example, beautiful girl, this woman, four boys. So, what are adjectives? Adjectives are the words which qualify a noun, which add something to a noun. There are so many types of adjectives. I have given examples. For example, here, the beautiful word is adjective. It is telling us about the girl, that she is beautiful. This woman, this is adjective of quality, quality. It is adding to the personality. Then this woman, this is adjective. Here this is demonstrative adjective. For example, four boys. Four is adjective. Four is telling us a number. So here we are not concerned with the types. Only one type he has stressed. Here are 30 adjectives describing human qualities. Qualities are stressed, especially in the human beings. So, such type of adjectives are known as the descriptive adjectives are adjectives of quality. So, what they do? Descriptive adjectives qualify or describe an object by telling us of what quality? What quality? of a thing is what quality of a person is or what sort, what sort of a leader, what sort of a teacher is he or she or in what state, what is the position of the person or object is. So here we are concerned with the descriptive. He has given two positive and negative. You have to 
they wipe them positive means all the good all the useful negative means bad which are harmful so this is the activity write the answers of the questions in your copies do this give exercise to your brain and do this work consult dictionary that is all for to you that is all for today thank you have a nice day